This is the Olight Marauder Mini, the award-winning Olight Marauder Mini, and this is the very popular Olight Marauder. In this video, I am reviewing the Olight Marauder Mini. I'm reviewing my drink bottle. Coleman Camp Stove. Deeper Chirp Plus. EcoFlow River. This Helinox Perrin 2. Arc valve UV. An electric hand warmer. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you all about the Olight Marauder Mini. Then I'm going to sort of compare it against the Olight Marauder. And then when it gets dark tonight, we're going to head out the bush and have a play with it and see just how bright it is. Now I'm going to try not to get too bogged down on specs because you can get them all online by doing a bit of research anyway. I just want to tell you about the torch. Basically the Olight Marauder Mini is a very, very versatile torch. It's a spotlight and it's a floodlight and it's a coloured light all together. If you look at the front there, you'll see the centre, that's the spot. Then the lights on the outside, they're the floodlights. And those odd ones out, they're the colourful lights. Now, to turn it on, if I push the button, that's the power button there. If I push the button, nothing happens. I've got to spin that dial a couple of times there. Just spin that a couple of times and that will unlock it. Now we'll turn it on. Now, down here, there's a switch where I can switch between flood and spot. So at the moment, it's on spot. Now I've, that's flood. Flood, spot. Now to make it brighter or darker, I turn that little blue wheel that I just showed you. That's right up full. That's now throwing 7,000 lumens of light straight at the camera. And let's go right down low. I can't remember what that is, but that's the lowest setting. Let's do the same with the spot. We'll put it into spot. We'll wind it up. That's the maximum. No. Sorry, that's the maximum. Back down to the minimum. Now, if you want to use the coloured lights, you've got to go into flood. You go into the flood mode, which is there. And then you hold the blue button down for a few seconds and a coloured light will come on. Right, we're in red mode. Let's hold it down again. We're in green mode. Hold it down again. We're in blue mode. Hold it down again. And we're back to white. So let's put it in a colour. Now I'm going to turn the camera, the torch off. Let's turn it back on and see if it comes back on in red or back on in white. It's going to come back on in white. So it's always going to turn on in white. Then you've got to hold it down to change the colour. Now, as I said earlier, I'm not going to get bogged down on the specs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the brightest and the weakest for both the floodlight and the spotlight. And then I'll put all this information up on the screen where you can pause it and have a really good look. And that'll just help prevent the video being too drawn out and too boring. Right, maximum output in flood mode is 7,000 lumens. And the minimum output is 100 lumens. 7,000 maximum, 100 minimum. In spotlight, we've got a maximum output of 900 lumens with a minimum of 50 lumens. So floodlight, 7,000 lumens to 100 lumens or spotlight, 900 lumens to 50 lumens. And there's a whole heap of different settings in between that you can use. And then there's the different settings for the colored lights. Now back to the torch itself. It comes with a pouch so that you can put it in the pouch and put it on your belt or wherever you want to carry it. So it comes with a pouch. It comes with a lanyard if you like lanyards. And there's the little, you might be able to see the little clip there, that little ring that you attach the lanyard to so you can put your wrist through it in case you drop it. And it comes with a magnetic charger that just pops onto the back like that. I haven't actually opened this charger because I've used my old chargers. You'll see the little magnet there, lower that down, bang, just clips straight on. So it's magnetic charging, comes with a pouch, comes with a lanyard. It's got a nice deep bezel around the top here in case you need to smash a windscreen to get a dog out of a locked car or something. It's got a display on the side here, and this is the only gripe that I've got with this torch. I've been using it for a few days. There is a display here, and that's on now. Can you see it? Don't worry if you can't, because neither can I. This side here tells you what brightness setting you're on, and this side here tells you how much battery you've got left. But the display is so dull that even at night time when it's dark, it's hard to see. And during the daytime, it's almost impossible to see. That's my only gripe. I'm really enjoying using this torch, apart from that display being a little bit too dull and hard to see. Now, I won't go into too much more detail about the torch now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to compare it with the big main marauder, the... Uh, the Olight Marauder, and then when it gets dark, we'll go out and have a play with it. Right, let's compare the two. 
Obviously, the Marauder is bigger. The Marauder's 14,000 lumens. The Marauder Mini is only 7,000 lumens, so it's smaller torch, smaller brightness. The Marauder, this clicks. That's like a tactile click. On the Marauder Mini, it doesn't. You just turn it and it's smooth. But when you're going up and down through the brightness sensors, when you get to the full brightness, it vibrates. Then when you get to the bottom, it vibrates again. This doesn't vibrate. So this clicks when you turn it, and this vibrates when you get to the ends. This doesn't have the coloured lights. This does. This has a square spot in the centre. This has a round spot. And in fact, I prefer the round spot on this. It's much better than the square spot on this big one. This is my favourite O-Light. And if you happen to see my O-Light review when I actually reviewed this about this time last year, you might remember I loved everything about the torch except for the square spot. Well, this has got a nice round spot and it's better. It's not a tight spot, but it's quite a round spot. And you'll see that tonight when it gets dark. And the only other thing that's different is that on this you might be able to see even in the daylight when i turn that you can see the blue lights around the sign there indicating how much brightness there is see those lights they'll go off any second now there they go you can't see them on the marauder mini so basically it's just a smaller one of them with a few colorful lights now let's wait until it gets dark tonight and go out and have a play with it and see how it goes right it's night time it's time to see how this torch works there you go see that that's not it. That's my phone. <laughs> I just want to read out something and then we'll start. There's a flash sale. Olight are having a flash sale. It starts tonight at 8pm the 22nd, which is tonight. And it runs until 11.59pm the 26th of July. So from tonight at 8pm until 11.59pm on the 26th, the Marauder Mini that I'm reviewing has got a whopping 35% off. It's normally about 300 bucks. This time it's just a bit under $200 and there will be other bargains and specials and, and uh, there'll be a link in the video description below to where you can find this torch and see the flash sale. And if you want to buy something outside of the flash sale times, you can use my discount code RF10 and get 10% off at any time. Right, all that information will be in the video description below. Now let's get to work. First thing, I'll turn that. You can see see the battery indicator you can see how low it is i mentioned earlier that you can barely see it that's in full dark so in the daylight you've got no hope of seeing that but i've turned it a couple of times to unlock it let's turn it on what have we got there's a spot and it's shining right across the river let's beam it up that's a spot and it's shining right over the river right across the bridge right back down under the bridge where we just were that's a great spot that's that yellow sign over there, that's probably 50 metres away. Now, if I put it in flood, we're lighting up the whole river. And the water's quite clear as well. So we've got flood. We'll look down there, flood. And then spot. I'll shoot it straight up in the air. It's like a, like a laser. All right. Let's go for a walk and have a bit of a play around and see what we can see. You can see that's Holly walking along the track there, heading down under the bridge. Turn around and shine it on me. How do I look? Am I well lit up? You don't have to walk straight back at me with it. <laughs> that defeats the purpose. Right, I'll, Holly's going that way. I'm going to walk back this way. Can you see me? Probably not. Right, now Holly is probably about 20 or 30 metres, uh, probably, yeah, about probably 30 metres away. All right, shine it on me now. Am I lit up? Absolutely I'm lit up. There goes a truck. We have got a huge amount of light down here. Right, I've made my way out to the river. And you can see the rapids, the bridge. We're lighting up everything, look at that. Lighting up a long way. Spot would be uh, great for hunting. Certainly well and truly bright enough for hunting. And flood is just bright for everything. What can I see in the river down there? I was hoping I might see a crayfish or something in the water, but I can't. We've just found the first possum with the Marauder Mini. It's a brush tail possum. Isn't it a ripper?
there's another one. That one's much higher in the tree, and the torch has throttled down. We haven't got turbo mode anymore, but as you can see, there's still plenty of brightness. That tree over there on the other side of the river, downstream of it, is probably a hundred meters away from where we're standing. I'll zoom out a bit. That's in in spot. Can you turn it into flood, darling? Look at that. Wow. Count it to the right. We'll look up the river. Get going. Look at that. Oh, there's a tree in the way. I'll come back here a little bit. Shine it right up there over that sandbar. Wow. Now down there, a hundred meters away is a coke can. Well, when I say a hundred meters, I didn't get the old trundle wheel out and measure it, but I counted a hundred full-size steps, hundred strides. So it's around about a hundred meters, give or take a little bit. And you can quite clearly see that coke can is being lit up, as is everything around it and behind it. So that coke can's approximately a hundred meters away. And you can see how much light there still is at a hundred meters. Yeah, leave it on um, flood. There you go. I'm a hundred meters from Holly, give or take a little bit. And I've still got enough light here to see what I'm doing at a hundred meters away. And that's after it's throttled down. That's uh, at the turbo mode expired ages ago. Now, I've got my Olight Arkfeld UV in my hand. Holly agreed to come out and help me film this video this evening, provided I showed you all her new hat, her brand new hat. You ready? That's a Kenworth hat. How cool is that? <laughs> nice hat, bro. Cheers. Holly's holding the torch over there. That's the Olight Marauder Mini. Do I think it's as good as the reputation that comes before it? Absolutely. It's everything I expected and more. I absolutely love this light. Who do I think it's good for? Pretty much everyone. It's not as good as the Marauder because it's half the size and it's a lot cheaper. And at the moment it's 30% off. This would be great in the boat, especially if you're looking for a jetty or something or with a boat ramp at night time. Great in the car if you're in a... It'll just be great for anyone. Great for hunting, especially if you're shooting rabbits or foxes or something. It's a great hunting light. This one gets a massive tick of approval from me. Don't forget all the information will be in the video description below, including links and discount codes. Thank you all very much for watching. There's my shadow on the other side of the river. Hi, Robbie. <laughs>